Good morning, friends. Happy Monday to you. I am LaCountess Ingram. I am healed to go. I am an outrageously bold, joyful, and free woman. Yes, I am an outrageously bold, joyful, and free woman. I am loved of the Most High God, and I just give him glory. You're loved of the Most High God, and I give him glory for that as well. Well, friends, um, I had, uh, you know, live, thrive, and be well planned, and there were uh, there were some chinks in the chain, and um, what I initially had planned at this moment has to be temporarily put on hold, but in order to honor my commitment and being here every Monday at 9 a.m., I decided to come on even though the plan that I initially had um, did not go through. But it's okay because you know what? God wants us to remain flexible. Um, he wants us to remain open. Um, and these different things pop up in life. And it was just so symbolic of how things happen in life. And when these different things come, you know, we can't really shut down. I mean, we could, but that's not all that that wouldn't be very um, productive. <laughs> so you persevere through it. You just flow and you go. And so that's why I am on today. It won't be a long session, but I wanted to pop on. I wanted to come on and I wanted to encourage you because in my encouraging you, Whatever is going on in my world doesn't it it just it it it's muted because I know that this is what I'm supposed to do. You know, I think back um over the different things, the different challenges, the different trials that have come up in my life, and they came to stop me. But God kept me. He kept me and he will continue to do that. And I want to say to you today, I don't care what's going on in life. I don't, it, it, it may feel like a conundrum and everything has fallen down, but I want you to persevere through it and know that there is a great breakthrough on the other side of this breakdown. Okay. So um, I, um, one of the devotionals that I, 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 I do in my um, devotional time is Jesus Always by Sarah Young. I really like her. Um, she um, initially did, she's the author of Jesus Calling. And my mentor had blessed me with this particular one some years um, ago. And it is very refreshing. I don't care what day I picked this up, it always ministers to my heart. And I just wanted to share this, okay? Today's installment, it says, don't be surprised by the many loose ends in your life. There will always be a part of your experience that um, they will always be a part of your experience. So again, don't be surprised by the many loose ends in your life. They will always be a part of your experience in this fallen world. When I created Adam and Eve, I placed them in a perfect environment, the Garden of Eden. Since you are one of their descendants, your longing for perfection is natural. Isn't that something? Our longing for perfection is natural because of how the Lord created us. It is also supernatural because you are my followers. Your ultimate destination is heaven, magnificent and glorious beyond anything you can imagine. Your longings will be completely satisfied there. When the loose ends of this broken world get, are getting you down, stop and look up to me. Remember that I, the perfect one, am with you. Mm. Tell me your troubles and let me help you with them. Seek my guidance in setting good priorities. 
according to my will for you. Take time to rest in my presence and worship me. Praising me directs your attention away from the world with all its brokenness toward me in all my glory. While you're engaged in worshiping me, you are participating in my glory. Friend, today I came by to simply say, stop, pray, flow, and go. Stop, pray, flow, and go. In, in Psalm 29, 2, it says, Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. So at the risk of being very vulnerable, <laughs> Currently, um, I am journeying through two things. I'm, I'm in what you call the sandwich. I am a, a, a caregiver for my mother. And we are journeying through dementia. And at the same time, I am running alongside my daughter and raising her child, my my youngest grand, my my only grandson, Zion. And it is not easy. My daughter um, struggles. We we have challenges with mental illness, and with the baby being born, we're journeying through just the the onslaught of the emotions that come with the postpartum and between assisting her and helping my mom, you know, it is more than an ocean. There are days when the loose ends in my life seem to be just so frayed and all over the place. My friends, I am here today because in the midst of it all, I choose and I will give them glory. In the midst of it all, I will not be defeated. In the midst of it all, I am going to look, to look up, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to look to the perfect one and I want you to look to the perfect one as well. For me, I'm sandwiched between helping my daughter and my mom. For you, it may be challenges on the job. It may be um, your your marriage is, is, is shaky. It may be financial woes. But know this, because we live in this fallen world, this stuff is, is going to keep happening. It will, because we're in this fallen world. But I want you to know that in the midst of being in a fallen world, there's a perfect God that we can look to. You may be dealing with your body racked with pain. Or you may be journeying through cancer. But I want you to stop, pray, flow, and go. I want you to stop and lift those hands up and worship the Lord. You know, it says here, take time, you know, to seek, take time to rest in my presence and to worship me. You see, praising God directs your attention away from the world with its all its brokenness and, and and it causes us to direct our affection and our love to his glory and what happens when we do that as we worship as we worship and as we pray as those praises go up he inhabits and he dwells in our praise and then 
he releases the healing flow, the stream of living water to refresh us and give us that extra um to go and do what he's called us to do. And that may be just get up and go to work. It may be to get up out of that bed and cook your baby that bit breakfast and get them off to school. I don't know what it is for you, but in this moment, let us just stop and look up and say, Lord, we love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I honor you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, things are crazy and it feels so free on every side, but I'm going to stop and look up to you because my help comes from the Lord. I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. He said he will not suffer my foot, my foot to be moved. The Lord who keepeth me, he will not slumber nor sleep. For the Lord is my keeper, the Lord is my shade upon my right hand. Oh, my in the name of the Lord, and our help comes from the Lord. Friends, I want you to just get in worship. I want you to press in prayer. I want you to pray. I want you to sing, declare, and allow the flowing stream to flow from heaven and fill you afresh that you may flow and go and be all that he's called you to be. Know that you're loved. Know that he hears you, that he, that he hears you, and that he will answer. He will answer. He will strengthen. And he will provide. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, I just come before you today with a grateful heart. Lord, in the midst of heaviness of heart, in the midst of walking through the what you've placed here for me to do with supporting my daughter, supporting my mom, Lord, I give you praise and thank you for strengthening me today to do that. And Lord, my friends that are on the live now or that will view at a later time, Lord, I don't know what they're journeying through, but you know, you know. Lord, and I'm asking, believing, trusting, and praying that you will give each and every person what they need today. Lord, the word says, give us this day our daily bread. Lord, and I know that you will give, you have given a fresh provision of man to get a manna to get us through this day, Lord. I thank you for your mercies are new every day and they fail not, Lord God. Great is your faithfulness, oh God. And today the choice, my choice, our choice is to rest in your faithfulness, is to rest in your love, is to rest in your presence, oh God. 
Lord, it is not always about doing things perfectly, but it is about staying connected to you, Lord, the perfect one. And as we stay connected to you, you lead us and you guide us and you help us navigate successfully do, through the torrential rains and waters and the floods that come so quickly at times. Lord, Lord, we're going to stand still. We're going to stand still. We're going to keep our eyes on you, fixed and focused, oh God. And we're not going to move, Lord God, until you tell us what to do and where to go, God. Lord, I love you today. And I thank you. I praise you. We praise you. And you said in your word, those who look to you, God, their faces are radiant. Their faces are radiant. And we will never be put to shame, those who hope in you. So, God, I thank you today. Lord, I lift up every caregiver today, God, in the name of Jesus. Every person who's caring for a parent, a spouse, a child, Lord God. Strengthen them afresh, oh God. Fill them with more of your glory. And fill them, God, that they may, that they may be the best caregiver that you've called them to be, God. Lord, I pray for those that are struggling with mental illness today, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, I speak to bipolar disorder in the name of Jesus. I speak to schizophrenia and ADHD and ODD and depression and postpartum depression. And I tell it to go in the name of Jesus. Lord, I come against suicidal idolations even now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and that, that young person, that old person that feels like that they just can't go on another minute, Lord God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray for strength from on high to saturate the room where they are even now. God, do it. Let them know that you love them and that you are with them, oh God. Send them the resources that they need, Father God that they may be well and that they may be whole, God. Lord, I lift up those that are journeying through cancer today, Father God, that brother, that sister, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that's going through chemo, Lord God, and who doesn't even have the strength, Lord Jesus, to, to go on, Lord, that where the taste of from the chemo has caused them to Taste like there's metal there, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, strengthen them now, God. Lord, perhaps somebody may have just received the diagnosis of cancer, Lord God, and they're scared out of their wits, Lord. I don't know, but you know, God, and I'm just asking that you would give them the strength they need to walk through this journey, Lord. Perhaps it's lupus, Lord God diabetes, heart attack, stroke, Lord God. Oh God, hypertension, oh God. Lord, bring the blood pressure down in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, God, heal, God. You said, you said, Lord God, the healing is the children's bread, Lord. You were wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon you and it's with your stripes that Lord, I thank you, Lord. Lord, I lift up, Lord God, those in leadership, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Mm. Excuse me. Oh God, I lift them up, Lord. And I'm asking right now, God, I'm asking right now that you would strengthen the pastors, oh God. Oh God, uh, pastors and, and their families, oh God. Lord God, many are throwing in the towel right now, God, but Lord, give them the strength to continue to run on, Lord. I pray for the spirit of endurance and stamina for all of us, oh God, that we would be able to endure and to keep running, oh God. Lord, give us to run in a strong community, oh God. In the name of Jesus, 
In the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you. Lord, I lift up those grandparents, Lord Jesus, that are assisting their children and raising the, the kids, Lord God. Lord, give them what they need, Lord God. You know, many have raised their children and they find themselves, Lord God, now, you know, in, in as they are entering into their golden years, Lord God, you know, um, having to run alongside the kids to raise the grandbabies, Lord, strengthen them, God, strengthen them to do it. Oh, Lord, and we just love you, Lord. We love you. Lord, we thank you for being our garrison. We thank you for being our strong tower. Thank you for being our hope and our strength. We honor you today, God. We bless you and we love you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we lift up the leaders of this world, Lord God. We lift up the people in the Ukraine, God, in the name of Jesus. We lift up, Father God, the governmental officials all over, Lord. Give them to make the decisions for the betterment of the people and not out of selfish gain. God, do it for your glory, Lord. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, God, in the name of Jesus. We love you, God. We worship you, Jesus. And we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. God bless you, friend. I am the Countess Ingram. I am healed to go. We are healed to go. We're here every Monday. So join us every Monday at 9 a.m. We will be back next week with our Live, Thrive, and Be Well series. And until we see each other again, I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be strengthened and boldly, boldly go. God bless you.